Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chuck Doug. I, uh, I'm still putting together this uh, 4LEDE with a trans brake for Clint. Uh, this one that came back for a refresh. Um, one of the things that happened when the reverse band died is it put a bunch of heat into the reaction carrier. So, um, I have this other reaction carrier here. This is actually the only spare 99 plus reaction carrier that I have. And I had it, I previously rebuilt it a while ago and it was probably in the brown car transmission. Um, you can see I set it up for a, uh, a bearing. This is kind of a snide little mod. I don't know if you guys knew about that, but you can put a, the same TH350 pump bearing here as you put in the roller rising the output. And that's kind of a nifty little thing. And another thing you can do to stabilize the reaction carrier, because it kind of gets pulled off center and put into a bind. That's kind of how the trans brake works. But it also beats the hell out of these pinions. So if you use a, uh, if you use one of these, they call these a silencer ring. Um, I'm not sure how, how quiet they make things. I haven't really noticed a difference in uh, in gear wine or anything like that. But uh, I know that they came in TH400s and early 4L80Es. And it's just kind of a nice little thing to have to keep this running on center after, you know, after the reverse band releases. Ideally, that reverse band kind of cl clamps and has a pivot in a couple points and doesn't pull it to one side. But in reality, it kind of does. So anything to get it back on running on center is going to improve the reaction time and keep things from getting beat up. This is uh, from the era before I knew about swaging these pins. So everything was, everything I did was TIG welded. And you can kind of see it. The pins are some sort of uh, powdered metal and they really don't like being welded. They're very messy, very oily. And I quit, I quit welding them in favor of uh, swaging the pins. So yeah, kind of a neat little mod. I thought I'd share with you guys. And it just drops on there. Let's see if I can get on there with one hand. Come on. There you go. And uh, this being an early style case, it has the TH400 style uh, lubrication system. So plenty of oil going to the planets, no big deal. See, we got a hollow shaft, so we're doing it that way. All right, just a little update. Talk to you guys later.